Hello and welcome to Catalyze Music Academy. My name is Zach Kersler and I'm an Ableton Certified Trainer. And for today's quick tip, I want to talk a little bit more about MIDI mapping. A couple weeks ago, I talked about uh, how to do kind of like toggle versus momentary MIDI mappings. And a lot of people had questions about other more kind of intermediate to advanced MIDI mapping controls. Uh, and so I want to take a look a little bit deeper into what you can do with MIDI mapping because it's really flexible and live gives you tons of options for customizing exactly how you control the software. So I want to start by taking a look at First, how you can basically take a series of buttons and map them to a knob. So we already know we can map a button to a knob. So let's go ahead and try that out real quick. So I'm going to enter to my MIDI map mode by hitting Command M. And I'm just going to map this volume fader right here to MIDI note C1. So now if I hit this button, it's going to turn it all the way on or all the way off. So we can get that kind of like binary control with it. Um, I can also adjust the range. So say I want it to go from like negative 30 decibels to negative 6 decibels. I can now adjust it between a much smaller range, which is kind of cool. But what I really want to do is have even more control than that. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to first hold down my first MIDI note, which is going to be C1 again, and then I'm going to hit a different MIDI note, which is G1. So now, okay, reset this guy. Now as I hit these buttons, if I hit C1, the volume is going to be all the way down. But as I move up in MIDI note, it's going to go up incrementally. So let's try this with the clip line. depending on which MIDI note I hit, but in that range of C1 to G1, it's going to adjust the volume. So this is true for pretty much any, any parameter that can move up and down, any kind of knob or fade or anything like that. So in this case, we did it with the volume. Let's go ahead and unmap that. And let's try it out with something like the filter frequency on an auto filter. So we're gonna, once again, hit Command M. We're gonna map this to the same range of MIDI notes. Actually, let's go a little higher, C1 up to B3. And we can see up here in our MIDI mapping uh, options, we can see C1 to B3. So now if I hit a really low note, the value is going to be low. And as I go up in MIDI note, the value can either jump around or go up in smaller increments, depending on how many notes I mapped it to. This is true for pretty much any, anything as a value moves up and down. You can map it to a range of MIDI notes by hitting one MIDI note and then hitting another MIDI note, and then you get that entire range. Another way we can do this is instead of applying this to uh, something like a knob, we can also apply it to clips. So if I MIDI map this to, again, let's do the MIDI note C1. Uh, if I hit the note C1, it's just gonna play that clip. But if I hold down the MIDI note C1 and then hit a different MIDI note, like G1, it's gonna map it to a range of MIDI notes, which means if I hit the MIDI note C1, uh, it's gonna be the original pitch. But if I hit a different note, it's gonna pitch it. Uh, up or down depending on how we've mapped it, which is pretty cool. So let's take another look in here. We can see we have actually three notes listed. We have C1, C1, and G1. So the notes on the outside are going to be the range of our mappings, and the note in the middle is going to be whichever note will play the original pitch of this sample. So I'm starting at C1, and then it'll pitch it up to G1. However, if I were to, say for example, hit G1 first, and then hit C1, you can see we have C1, G1, and G1. So again, same range, but this time G1 is going to be the original pitch. And if I try playing this now, G1 is going to be the original pitch. And it's going to pitch it down. As you move it around from there. On top of that, if you hit three notes, uh, you want to hit the middle one first. So if I hit E1, for example, and then C1 and then G1, we actually have a middle range, which are E1 is going to be our original pitch, and then it's going to pitch it down as I go towards C1 and up as I go towards G1. Uh, so you can actually have a range of MIDI notes, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, this also works for MIDI, so it works the exact same way. Uh, map it the same way, and it'll pitch things up and down. So are you going to use either one of these every day in your like production life? Probably not, but hopefully someday you're out there either you know designing a live performance setup or looking to do some cool custom control. You want to be able to basically like play a clip uh, on stage or even in the studio, uh, you can map it to a range of MIDI notes, or you can map a range of MIDI notes to control a particular parameter uh, over time, which is really handy. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching that. If you did, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Uh, I have a lot more videos like this coming out. Uh, on top of that, if you want to learn more about what Catalyze Academy does in terms of classes and lessons and things like that, please feel free to check out the Catalyze Academy website. Uh, also, feel free to put in the comment section below if you have ideas for topics you'd like to see me talk about in the future, and I will try to make those as soon as I can. Uh, 
Again, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon.